Okay. So yeah. Okay. All right. Good afternoon. Uh, this is our thirty first yeah, online lesson, and uh, today is a Thursday. Yeah. Uh, as we mentioned, this may be our last yeah lesson, and today is actually our Chuti Prayaan. Yeah, thank you for joining the class, even on a holiday. All right, and uh, maybe this will be the last lesson. It's actually the last lesson before our Raya break. I will say Raya break first because I don't know whether in between Raya and Gawai we will have lesson or not. We will make a decision later, and I will keep everyone informed. Lah. Okay, and. Um, also stay alert lah, with uh, a ministry announcement as when we can go back to school and so on okay so we will continue yeah, with this uh, section under uh, laws of certs yeah page 104 yeah we are actually at the end of the section yeah rationalizing the denominators yeah okay uh, for expression involving certs i think last lesson which is which was on tuesday uh towards the end i put up the same uh, diagram yeah uh, i think you can pick this up yeah you can take this uh, copy this yeah so that it's, hopefully this can help uh, in, in your revision so let's run through this again yeah so if you are given the numbers uh yeah if these numbers uh is having irrational denominators yeah so it meaning the numbers in fraction form yeah you have the numerator i think i mentioned this also and also the divisor which is the p no p the okay and, and in this case the denominator is one irrational number yeah in our syllabus we will cover one of these and all these three format yeah of course these are not the, the end of the story yeah if you move on you have uh, more like uh, you are looking at square root only yeah you can have cube root you can have yeah remember we are looking at certs yeah certs not necessary uh order two yeah you can have order three order four and so on but in our syllabus we are going to look at only this format one over m uh square root a 1 over m square root a plus n square root b yeah 1 over m square root a minus n square root b so very specific yeah as you can see in example 14 on page 104 yeah this is a square root a, m square root a m square root a plus n square root b yeah and this one is a minus yeah so these are fraction yeah, but the denominators, yeah, Irish, being irrational, yeah. So our job here is to, the term is actually in short RPD, rationalizing the denominator, meaning making, uh, writing this in another form, whereby the denominator is no longer having cert. Later I can show you, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and as of why do we do this? I think maybe later I can, because I can send you one article, a very short one. Briefly explain why do we have to do this? Yeah, I can briefly mention also later. Okay. Uh, now, method and to do RTD, yeah, uh, is actually by using the conjugate, they call conjugate set. Yeah. So you need to remember this M square root A, the conjugate is m square root a because by doing so we are actually getting rid of the radical symbol and yeah, the radical term i can show you again later maybe with numbers it will be easier to understand okay so before we start i think we still have to recall this i'll put this up first um i think i need to write this again yeah so a so a yeah if you a, right so i think you need to remember this okay 
uh, multiplying this, you get A. Sort of these two cancel each other because of the square. Yeah. Another thing that you need to remember, yeah, uh, to do this effectively, uh, you need to remember this concept which you learn. I think in form one, form two, or form three. Mm, if you get A square minus B square. I hope you still remember this as A plus B. A minus B. Alright? This is very important. Yeah, A square minus B square is A plus B, A minus B. Yeah? Meaning, if you are given this, yeah, you should be able to come back to this. Yeah? All right, so I will leave this on this board. So later, we, when it comes to this, I will bring this up again and uh, show you. Yeah? So let's start. Now, if you look at the question, if you read example 14, the question say RPD, rationalize the denominator and simplify each of the following. Yeah? RPD. Now, the method is, okay, to simplify this, yeah, we multiply, we multiply both the numerator and the denominator with the conjugate third. So in this case, five third three, the conjugate is five third three. We multiply, but you cannot just multiply the denominator by anything. Yeah, you have to do the same. Yeah. You have to do the same for the numerator, right? So I think this is uh, nothing new, yeah. Because if you are given, say, for instance, two over three, and say you want to multiply the denominator with four for some reason, you have to multiply the numerator by the same number four, all right? And then you get the equivalent in this case. Yeah, 8 over 12, which, which is equivalent to 2 over 3. Yeah? Okay? So in this case, we are not, yeah, I think bear in mind, we are not changing the value of the question, but simply trying to write this in a different format. Now, what happens if you multiply uh, M sub A with the conjugate? Yeah? So you look at this again. So top here, I think the numerator is quite straightforward. This example, this can be any other number, but in this case, it's 1. So you get 5 square root 3. Yeah? So what happened down here? Okay, 5 multiplied by 5. Yeah, you get 25. Okay. But third 3 multiplied by third 3. Yeah, that's our friend here. Okay, third 3 multiplied by third 3, you end up with 3. Okay, so then I will write this as uh, multiplied by 3. Okay. Yeah. If you are not familiar yet, you can write this as this format of 5 multiplied by 3, multiplied by 5, multiplied by 3. Okay, it means the same. Okay. Alright, then you, you can write 5 3, yeah, 5, 5, 25. Yeah, third A multiplied by third A, you get A, so that multiplied by 3. Yeah, if you are not familiar with uh, the step yet. Okay, and then you can simplify further 5, 5, 25, 5, 5, 23, 5, 15. So at the end, you get this number. That is as far as we can go. That is the meaning by rationalize the denominator. As you can see here, the denominator here is having one irrational number, yeah, meaning a third. But by doing, by multiplying the numerator and denominator with the conjugate, third, we managed to get rid of the third term here. Yeah, so you look at the denominator no longer in third term. All right? Okay, so that is the meaning of RTD. Yeah, rationalize, uh, rationalizing the denominator. Yeah? so in this case, the method is by multiplying both numerator and denominator with the 
conjugate cert. Right? So some at this point, I think you have doubts. I think maybe if you, you are thinking, you are you'll be saying, what is the point of writing this in this form? Yeah. Yeah. Um, of course I can share with you that, but I think time is not permitting. I'll share I'll, I'll send you that article. Lah. But in short, basically we are saying this is a better format. It's just like if you have a four over eight. Yeah. And why are we saying this is better? One over two. Right. We are saying by simplifying this, we are reducing this to 1 over 2. And this is the so-called final answer. Right. Same thing here in, in, in the world of mathematics. If you, are, if you are getting this, if you do this and you end up with this, this is in, in the mathematical world is regarded as a simpler version of this. But then that is not convincing at all. Yeah? But actually the real uh, intention is because if we move on, yeah, doing our, if we have more mathematical steps to follow from here, it's easier to do even plus minus with this. Imagine if you do this, 1 over 5, so 3 minus, uh, let's say, 2 over uh, 4, so 7. How are we going to continue from here? Even if you want to continue also, you'll be doing this thing and then writing this in this format, yeah, and then writing this in the rationalized format, and then only then you will move on because this is a better format for us to move on in our uh, further mathematical computation. All right, compared to this one because you cannot possibly plus minus with this. You still have to do this. Yeah, if we are to continue, now that is uh, why actually. All right. And also in, uh, uh, maybe never mind, I'll send you that article and I'll send you the link and you read with example. I think with that, you'll be more, um, you, you understand why, lah, yeah? that will answer yeah, your doubts. Yeah? Okay, so that's number one. Now B, come to this format. Yeah? And then C, you look at this format. Yeah? All right, so you can do all these three. I think we are quite safe. All right? Okay. Now let's do this. One over seven square root plus five. I, I hope you can see because it's a bit small, eh? Yeah. Yeah. So we multiply again both the denominator and the numerator with the conjugate of this. Yeah. So the conjugate is seven sub two. If this is plus, I put a minus five sub three. Yeah, at least if this is plus, then it's a minus. Yeah? If it's a minus, then it's a plus. Yeah? So these people they are very smart. I'll show you why. Yeah? So, so we do the same. Yeah? We do the same upstay and downstay, la, the numerator and the denominator. Okay? Because we are not changing the original value, simply changing the format. Okay? Now what happened here? You look at this. This plus this, the same term, this minus this. Yeah? So we are actually looking at, that's why I try to prepare you for this. A plus B, A plus B, A minus B, A minus B. So you can actually write this as A squared minus B squared. So this is also something that you need to remember. If not, you will have to expand this. Imagine you expand this, multiply, this, multiply, this, multiply, this, multiply, and with the help of this, you end up with this also. You can slowly expand. Yeah, you can. Yeah, the book is not doing that also. Okay, so then I will help. Eh? Okay, let's see. Okay. Why the numerator negative as well? Though? Again, come again. Why the num numerator negative as well? Oh, we have to follow. You see, if I give you an uh, uh, example earlier, like 4 over 9, for some reason you need wish to multiply this with 3, you have to multiply the same thing here, right? These two have to be the same. Because, oh, all right. Yeah, because 3 over 3 is still 1. Yeah, this over this is actually one. We are not changing the value. Yeah, you see, this over this is one. Right? 
this over this is also one. We are not changing the value. We are simply changing the format. Okay. But why they want to put plus and minus the conjugate? Yeah, because by doing so, they can use this second. Yeah, they can use this second a square minus b square. Yeah. You see what happens if you square? All right, I'll show you. Yeah. These people they are very smart. So up here is more or less done. So I can because this is one like, example. So in any other example, you can have a number here, two, but three here, you multiply. Lah. Yeah. But in this case, so it's the same. So we copy. First, the intention is to show you how to settle this one. Yeah. So it's a plus b, a minus b. So then we can actually write this as a square minus b. Square. I hope you're okay with this. This is a square minus b square. That's why you have a plus b, a minus b. But now you are given this and you have to write this. Yeah, so I hope this. Hey. Yeah, the same thing. All right. Yes. Uh, yes. Okay. So, all right, let me. Yeah. Because you see what happened if you square, uh, then that back to the same thing again. Square of, uh, okay, I'll pop out right here. This is 7 square root 2 minus 5 square root 3. Uh, 7, 7, 49. Yeah, the square of the third here, then they cancel each other. Left 2, right? Right? Yeah. Yeah. And minus 5, 5, 25. Okay. The square of square root 2, uh, square root 3, if you three. Okay. So what happened now is if you can see here, yeah. Um, I will leave this up here so that it's at the side. Yeah. Uh, this this uh, square root 3 becomes 3 is actually using the first one because first one is what is this actually? This is just square root. Hey, same thing, huh? Okay. Now let, let's continue. You have 7 square root 2 minus 5 square root 3. You can use your calculator here 2 times 49 minus 3 times 25. I think that will give you 23. 20. Okay. Yeah. 23. Okay. So this is done. Yeah. So at first, you see what happened. You have one number with irrational denominator, but by using this conjugate. Yeah. And then that concept a bit here, algebra. And then we managed to get rid of the irrational number here. You get one nice integer, 23. Yeah. Of course, now what happened? The numerator get the burden. Lah. So now the numerator is in is, is one irrational number. But as far as uh, the topic is concerned, they want to rationalize the denominator. All right. So if you use your calculator, you check the value of 1 over, put a bracket here, this. And then you, turn, you, you, you compare with this over 23 using your calculator. The two are of the same value. We are not changing the original value of the number, but simply changing the format of the number. And this is RTD, the second format. Okay. Any question, anyone, before I show you the last, the third one? Anyone? Mm. So, it's, it's Sir. Different yes. Not so clear. Why the answer is different from the calculator? Calculator? Sir, sir. Come on, what calculator? I, I don't get you. Uh, the answer you write is different. My answer is negative 5. Start with negative 5. Hello. What do you mean? My answer? This answer? Yeah. Different from what? Uh, basically, it states here negative 5, 3 plus 7, 2 over 23. Where? In the calculator. 
Do you use your calculator to rationalize? Yes, it's already the final answer in my calculator. Uh, how how do you rationalize? You you press in this one and this one, is it? Yes, sir. I do as what you said. With seven two minus five three over forty nine two minus twenty five bracket three. Yeah. Yeah. I do as I do as set and the answer is yeah lah, The final answer negative five three. Here, no? Yeah. Already. I think mathematically it is correct. I can solve your problem. Maybe you type key wrongly or something. But what I'm saying is, uh, I'm asking you to try out this value uh, and this value. You have to compare, and they are actually the same. Yeah? That that is what I try to. Yeah. So that you can compare. It's okay, sir. I try again. Yeah. Okay. So let let me look. Uh, let's look at C. Yeah. I don't know whether you can see from the screen there. It's like yeah, maybe a bit blurred. Yeah? Is it blur? No, eh? No, no, no. no. Right. Okay, let's start. I hope this is big enough, the space. Okay, the same idea here. So the third one, the third one minus, yeah, so we do, okay, one minus over two third three minus five third seven. So multiply by the conjugate of this. 2 third 3 plus 5 third 7. The idea is actually, the conjugate meaning now is, is actually trying to put if A plus B, you put A minus B. If it's A minus B, you put A plus B so that you can use the same, the same, uh, yeah, okay. And then because of the square, you can get rid of the, the square root, yeah. So imagine now if the irrational denominator is of other order other than square other than order two so it's not this straightforward anymore yeah? so this is not the end actually it's just the beginning uh, of your journey if you are going to do mathematics uh, in future uh, two square root three oops not so clear here King plus five square root seven yeah so same thing here i think we are done more or less so uh, with the, the numerator we can leave it yeah because it's one so now I think you need to remember this is a plus b, a minus b, yeah? So therefore I can write this as 2 third 3 square minus uh, 5 third 7 square, yeah? So this is a square minus b square. And then now I can write this as 2, 3 plus 5 third 7. So here 2, 2, 4. Yeah, can solve each other, square root and the square, minus 5, 5, 25, and the 7, okay? Not so clear, this thing here, I think I need to refill later. Okay, and then finishing this, using your calculator, 2 square root 3 plus 5 square root 7, 4 multiplied by 3, and then I get a negative number, if I'm not wrong, yeah, you get negative, yeah, negative 163. And put the negative at the side here or leave it down there. Not a problem. Okay. So that is the meaning of RTD. Yeah. Within the scope of our syllabus in this three format. Okay. So take this down. This is one very important example. Yeah. Uh, then we look at more example, and then maybe from there we can learn. Yeah, actually, example fifteen and sixteen are uh, are very good example as well. Okay. Or any question so far? Yeah. So there are a few terms. Yes. Yeah, yes. Can you take the, the picture of the C question? Question C. Can can can. Because I cannot I cannot see the page. A B plus. Okay, get ready for the next example. Eh? Actually, you don't have to worry uh, because in, in our syllabus, it's very, uh, the scope is very small. Only limit to these three. 
format the worst you can get yeah so the easier format later maybe you can see say uh example 15 yeah maybe it can be simpler yeah um but the idea is the a plus b a minus b using a square minus b square huh? that that is the idea yeah i take all three like eh? just in case those who are not here can still refer so meantime get ready yeah example 15 yeah everyone right then this part will be, I think, killer. Lah, yeah? A lot of people will not be able to do this. Yeah? So managing this meaning you are ahead of other people. Lah, yeah? uh, a lot of people will, will, will get stuck here. Okay? So I will take a photo of this concept also. Okay. All right, let's look at, I send to, the, to your group here. Yeah? So let's look at example 15. I will leave this. Maybe I think I can take this away already. Lah, yeah? this. Okay. If we have the time later, I will straight away run through the reason you do. Lah, yeah? So example 15. That's not so clear already. Now, example 15 says, rationalize the denominator and simplify 1 plus third 3, 1 minus third 3. Yeah? Okay. So, so this is actually an uh, extension to this concept. Yeah? Earlier in example 14, they focus the attention to the denominator only, yeah? putting one, the easiest we can get as the numerator. Yeah? So now, as you can see, the numerator can be anything, actually. But it's not of our like, big concern. Yeah? Our only concern is this here. Right? So this format yeah, is actually of this format, minus. If you get minus, it's minus. All right? So then what do we do? You multiply with the conjugate of this, if it's minus, you put plus. Okay. If it's minus, you put plus. Why again? Because of because of this thing again. Hey, if it's minus, you put plus. So that you can have this square around. With the square around, the third thing will go disappear. Now that is the whole idea. You remember that idea? I think it will be easier. If not, you think, hey, what, what am I doing? Yeah. yeah. So here, you do the same. Right? Remember, you are multiplying by 1. Yeah. You are multiplying a fraction by a number, which is 1. Then we are not changing the value of the number. In this case, the question. Lah. Okay? Yeah. So in future, maybe you are doing something. You are solving a problem, and then when it comes to this, oh, you reach this thing. You reach this, and then you don't know what to continue. Okay, to continue is actually by doing this, multiplying the conjugate, and we move on. Simplify, by, uh, simplify. Okay? All right. So then let's do it. Eh? So up there, you get 1 plus this. 1 plus this. It's actually square, lah, yeah? but I write it this manner. Yeah? So this a minus b, a plus b. So I can write this as a squared minus b squared, right? So this is a squared minus b squared, right? So that's why I have a, a plus b, a minus b. So you have to remember this, and then this thing needs practice, yeah? You have to practice. And up here, you multiply, yeah? Here, you multiply by one, you get this right away, yeah? So here now, you have to expand. Oops. Now to expand this, you do this, right? Usual thing, but just that this type of question, you'll be dealing with a lot of this radical symbol and then sometimes it's confusing, right? But you take it one step at a time, don't rush, yeah? So you see down here. So this is more or less done. One square is one. Square root and the two get cancelled off each other, you get one minus three. So in a way, RPD done actually. We managed to rationalize the denominator and you get negative two. Yeah, as the denominator. Yeah, so now it's the upstate. 
So we set it up, say 1 multiplied by 1, you get 1. 1 multiplied by square root 3, you get square root 3. Yeah? And then this multiplied by this, you get 1 square root 3. So take it one step at a time. And this multiplied by this, you see? So that's why I did the, the last lesson. Remember, we learned to do addition, subtraction. Oops, what happened? The shark is here. Okay. We learn to do addition, subtraction, and multiplication of expression involving certs. Right. So actually those sections are trying to prepare us to do all this. You are doing expansion and then square root 3 over uh, multiplied by square root 3, you get 3, right? So all this needs to be with you again. See again, a lot of this. Sir 3 multiply sir 3 equals to 3. It happened again here. Okay? So then, okay, then we simplify as far as we can. Uh, 1 plus 3. 1 plus 3 and 4. Right? This one plus this one. Do not use your calculator. Eh? Once you use your calculator, you get a similar number. Right? That's not what they want in simplifying. You get 2 square root 3, right? 2, right? Yeah, over. Uh, sir, sir. Yes, yes. Can you repeat the step from the first, like the four plus two set three? Can you repeat that? Which uh, one? Four plus two set three. How how does it become four plus two set three over negative two? This one, is it? Uh, can you repeat that? Step? Yeah. Okay, I can do that. This one, one plus three. Four plus three. I think down here, okay, la. this one is negative 2. La, huh? yeah. All right. Yeah. So 1 plus 3? 4. Four. Four. I think your problem is this. Now, if I, yeah. give you, if I give you a number 1 plus x plus x plus 3 over negative over 1 minus 3, what is your answer? 4x, 4 plus x. 4 plus? X. X plus X? 2X. Yeah, 2X over? <laughs> Negative 2. Yes, 2X. X plus X give you 2X, right? Apple plus Apple give you 2 Apple, right? Yes. Same thing here. 1 plus 3, I give you 4. X plus X, I get 2X. Is that okay? Oh, so the set tree is kind of like x la. Yes, by x. That's why the last okay. section, I think, in the multiplication, subtraction, and uh, addition of certs, huh, I think you actually need to practice a lot of this. Instead of seeing a lot of x, now you see this thing. You have to see them as apple. If they are the same, it's just a substitute for the variables. Huh? Yes, you can actually plus them. Right? Two set tree. Uh, and this the other day also. Earlier, remember there is this uh, third A order N. This is not equals to two third A, right? Uh, N third A. They are different. So you need to see now this is not the square root two. This is dual, the two X here. Two X. Huh? Okay. So having done that, I think we still can cancel these two, right? We can write this as negative uh, two. Negative, this one cancel, right? Square root 3. So this is as far as we can go. Okay? I hope you're alright. From this step to this one. Uh, sir, sir. Yeah. So, sorry, sir, didn't catch up. Uh, uh, cancel apart, is it? What? From this, this one? Right? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, sir. Okay, right here, again. Away. Okay, so from here I can handle this as 4 over negative 2 plus 2 third A over negative 2 over negative 2. Can I, can I do that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Right. Because, yeah, so, it's the same thing. so then you can cancel and then you can cancel. Yeah, so you get negative 2, negative third 3. Uh, yeah, so this is again another good example. You see, the book is 
is trying to arrange in such a way. First, in example 14, we deal with the denominator. And then in example 15, they give you one irrational denominator so that we can do RTD. Yeah, but on top of that, they give us a more complicated as the denominator so that we have to do this also. All right. So this is a, another step forward to example. Oh, very good one actually yeah, i learned from here from this also yeah uh, i hope you can all right okay so uh, we will move on with example 16 something which is a step higher again yeah sorry yeah today i will have to do a lot of talking uh because okay. i need to finish this yeah before your your break okay all right all right okay now maybe before example uh 16 yeah before example 16 i i give you i show you that that page now nah, eh? just to maybe let's instead of looking at the uh, not keep uh, looking at the, the board with me i think i think susana and maybe you look let's run through this i i, I show you this uh, website that i managed to find hmm so that we are more convinced, yeah? Why are we doing this RTD? <laughs> I hope you can see this. Yes, yes. Brad, Brad Berry. Right. So we run through this, uh, I think quickly, la. I don't think we have time to read through everything. So why do we RTD, yeah? Rationalize the denominator. Hmm. Uh, you see here, you have heard it time and time again, RTD, make sure to rationalize the denominator, but why? Now, who decided that getting the root out of the denominator and into the numerator was the thing to do? You see what? I think that's what we experienced earlier. Kan? We get rid of the uh, the root, the radical symbol from the denominator, but it end up in the numerator. Right? It's like we kick our problem and then it goes away to someone else's problem. Right? So now here are three reasons why RTD become the standard from algebra to calculus, meaning it's everywhere actually in the world of mathematics and this RTD is not something that we do in this chapter only yeah so in future we'll be doing more of this RTD everywhere yeah now common sense reason I think this is to me is not so acceptable it's common sense yes but I see the standard reason why you need to do is practical uh, uh, hold on, uh. you see in mathematics you can often write solution in multiple different ways yeah, right. Your friend may write in fraction, someone writes something else in decimal, and they are all correct, right? So all these variations are cool. But for practical purposes, they make life more difficult for those grading your papers, uh, meaning me or some other people who check your answer. So then defining and requiring a standard form for answer save me. <laughs> Time-consuming headache of having a verify to verify your solution and so on, lah. And accidentally marking your answer incorrect. I think to me it's not so good reason. Lah, yeah? Just like reducing a fraction to its simplest form. RTD is the protocol for simplifying fraction with roots in the denominator. Yeah. So meaning is like if you are given fraction like eight a four over eight, I showed you earlier, uh, we have to simplify to one over two. And no question asked. You accept one over two as a better form compared to four over eight. But why again? Yeah, but we accepted it. Huh? So same thing here, we accept, I mean the world of mathematics accept uh, after we RTD, that is the simply uh, the simpler form compared to the one you seen earlier. Well, that's mathematic in the mathematical world. But for me, I think this is more reasonable. Yeah, a commonly defined here, I think uh, make uh, sense, but still leave us with question why, you yeah? know, and uh, Having a root in the numerator is okay, but having a root in the denominator is not. Yeah, still, we still ask this question. You look at this now. Why is 2 sub 3 over 3 the simpler form of 2 over sub 3? See now this 2. Now, if you take the 2 over sub 3, you multiply by the, remember, the conjugate sub, which is sub 3, you end up with the one on your right side here. So we are saying 2 sub 3 over 3 is the simpler version of 2 over sub 3. Yeah? Now the reason is that if we need to add or subtract fraction with radical, it's easier to compute 
if there are whole numbers in the denominator instead of irrational number. I think this makes sense. Huh? For example, it's easier to add, you look at the following one, it's easier to add these two, it's easier to add compared to this one. Now, how are we going to add 2 over set 3 plus 1 over 3 plus set 2? We still have to RTD and change it to the this format, and then we can move on by making 3 and 7, 21, and then we continue. Right. To add the first set of fraction together, all we need to do is to make a common denominator of 21. Right. But it's not the, in the second case. We still have to RTD before we add the second. I think this is uh, this makes sense. Yeah. We RTD because for further computational uh, problem. Yeah. Uh, all right. I, th I can send this to you so that you can read this in a more detailed manner. Yeah. But of course, the historical reason, meaning previously, yeah, in, in, in those days where imagine you don't have a calculator. Yeah. You don't have a calculator. Now, how can you do, if you want to do two divided by set three, I don't think it's possible at all. Yeah. But to do two set three divided by three, yeah, after RTD, then it's possible doing it manually. Yeah? You see, by hand. How are we going to do this? Even those time to get set three, 1.732 or so without calculator. Imagine today you don't have calculator. How are you going to get set three? For us, is kita tekan only. We tekan square root three, you get 1.73 something. We assume this is correct, and then we just dump it in. Kan? Those days, they need some other algorithm to find an approximation for this, yeah, agak agak only. And then you imagine two divided by set three, you actually have to do this. It's not possible, all right? But with this, two set three over three is possible. Uh, it's possible. Even today, you can do this, right? So I think these are some of the reasons why we, we need to do RTD. Of course, if we understand why, I think then uh, we then we will you know, be more convinced to learn the how to do RTD. Yeah, that, that is the concept. Yeah, so I'll, I'll send this to you uh, so that you can you can read this on your own. Yeah, so I think what we are doing here is how are we going to do RTD? Yeah, but what I uh, delivered to you earlier, it's not in the book, is to uh, convince you a bit more as of why do we need to do it. Of course, in your case, some say, oh, I, I will do RTD because exam, lah. that is my only why. But for me, that is not good enough. Yeah, you need to know why, in the sense of uh, mathematical world, why is it important. Only then, in doing how, you'll be happier. <laughs> if not, you'll be frustrated doing all this. No? Okay. So I hope that answers uh, uh, some of your, uh, yeah, in your mind. Yeah. So let's look at example sixteen. Example sixteen is rather long. I think that should end our, yeah. Yes, 46. That will end our day. And I need you to look at self-practice 4.7 on your own and do, oh, some, wow. uh, and do some reading on uh, solving problems involving certs, yeah? Um, and, and so on. Some more exercises coming, including the intensive practice 4.2. Yeah? Quite a lot of work, actually, yeah? To get yourself familiar with this. So that when next time we come back, we can do logarithm, all right? We can do logarithm. Let's look at example 16. But don't worry, you can still ask questions in between or during your Hari Raya or your Gawai break. And maybe I'll still see you before your Gawai. Yeah? So that we can have more, one or two more sessions to... Um, okay. To polish up yeah, your idea, eh, your concept. So let's look at example 16. So we are asked to write... Uh, so now we are expected to do uh, both 5 plus 7 over 1 plus 3 plus 4 minus 7 over 1 minus 3 as a single fraction. as a single fraction. Okay. Now, I think this question is actually quite kind to us already. Imagine if you are given 1 plus 3 here, something else here. 
uh, two minus uh, seven and so on. Yeah, meaning is as if you you get this question, this question here, combine two lah. Meaning you have to do one time here, do one time here, and combine again. Right. So this question is already being kind by giving us one plus three, one minus three. If you multiply the two, that is already the conjugate set. Right, so the conjugate set of this is actually this. The conjugate set of this is actually this. So they cancel off each other in terms of the radical sign. All right, so if you can see this, then you, you don't, you, you, you'll be able to do this. Meaning now, you take one plus set three, multiply one minus set three. Okay. You take this, multiply by this. Therefore, you have to take this, multiply by this as well, correct? Or? Yeah? It's like, okay, it's like um, you have, I write for you, huh? it's like you have A over 3 plus B over 7. Okay? Now, if you multiply 3, by 7 or 7 by 3, right? 3 multiplied by 7. You have to multiply this also by 7, right? And plus, you have to multiply this by 3, right? as if you are doing for ordinary fraction, right now. Oh, like, like, uh, cross multiplication, right? Yeah. Like cross multiplication, right? It's something like that, but it's not, uh, we, we don't say this as cross multiplication. Lah, yeah. Okay, meaning now if you multiply this by 7, you have to multiply this by 7. This is what we did earlier. Lah, man. You multiply this by something, you have to multiply upstate by the same thing also. Right. And same thing here, you multiply this by 3, right? Multiply by 3. So you have to multiply this by 3 also. Again, the idea is to multiply by 1 because we are not changing the value. Okay? So this multiply by this, okay? then this here also need to be multiplied by this, right? Okay, and same thing here, plus 4 minus 7 multiplied by this one, right? 1 plus 7. I hope you are okay. I hope you can see that. And it's fraction, uh, this one. All right, may need a bit of time to digest. Okay, I think you can also refer to the textbook. I think the textbook write this in a very different manner. They write bigger. Lah. Maybe it's easier to understand that way. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. All right. So doing that, what happened down here? Right, very long one. Eh? Down here, this is A plus B, A minus B. Yeah? Remember our intention? We want to do RTD, right? So then this is A squared minus B squared, right? So that's, what is this? This is RTD here, rationalizing the denominator, right? A squared minus B squared, yeah? Don't forget my small whiteboard down here. My hand is painful. Okay, now up here, as usual, we do more of this effort now. That's why the last section it was important also. Yeah, if you don't do last section, you find a bit difficult. Yeah, yeah. Five multiplied by one, five. Yeah, five multiplied by this minus five squared root three. Okay. Plus square root seven because multiplied by one. Okay. Now this plus. Minus, hmm, how then? Oh, minus, sorry. Plus, minus, minus, again. Square root 7 multiplied by square root 3. What should we put? I hope you still remember law number 1. Square root A multiply square root B. What is this? Square root? Still remember? A, B. A, A plus B. Ah, plus ah. Is it? A, B, A. Not plus ah. Okay. Look at law number one. Square root A multiply square root B. 
is the square root of a multiplied plus a by, by b. That's law number one. Remember that. Yeah? If they are the same, if they are the same, uh, then easy. If they are the same, square root a multiplied square root a, that's a. Yeah? If they are different, square root a multiplied square root b, square root a multiplied by b. Same goes to division. Yeah? All right, so please remember that. So meaning now this is 3, 7, 21. Okay, 3, 7, 21 with the square root sign. All right, so these small things huh, I think we need to uh, remember. Okay, plus, I write a bigger plus. This one again, take away. Okay, so same here, I have to do this again. 4 multiplied by 1, 4. 4 multiplied by this, so slowly, yeah, plus 4 square root 3, so I extend this, this, I get minus square root 7, another one of this, minus plus minus square root 21, okay, alright. Okay. Yeah. So let's continue. Let me finish first. Maybe then we can talk that. Yeah? So one square minus this. Okay. Cancel each other. So we get one minus three. Hmm. So all this I think we need to really get used to. Yeah. Get used to uh, uh, this section especially. These are the things that keep popping up. And we are not doing actually new things. You are doing the same thing over and over again. Just that you cannot remember maybe now. Yeah. So you need to practice. Yeah. Okay. Then we have to settle some of this. Hmm. I think the first thing that I can see is you have a positive third seven. You have a negative here. I can cancel all that. Or so on. Right. And five and four. Five plus four. Okay. Right. Nine. Right. So I'm done. Considering this one done. Okay, now how about these two? Negative 5, positive 4. Remember the x earlier. Ah, this thing earlier. x plus x, 2x. Negative 5 plus 4. Negative 1. Right. Okay. Are you okay? Negative 5x plus 4x. Negative x, lah. Yeah. Okay. And then you have negative x, negative x again. You get negative 2x, right? Negative 2 square root 21 in this case. Right? Because negative 1, negative 1. You get negative 2, lah. negative 2 square root 21. So that's another thing that you need to get used to, meaning be able to see this third 3 and third 3 as like x. Sub 21, sub 21, like y maybe. Yeah, negative y minus y, you got all oh, negative 2y. Come quite naturally in, in that area. Yeah? Okay, so from here, if we simplify again, you get 9 minus sub 3 minus 2 sub 21. Uh, this is negative 2. Okay? Yeah, I think you can stop here. Or maybe people normally don't like the negative sign here. I think that's what happened in the book also, right? Yeah. Okay, so they write this as negative 9 plus 3 plus 2 sub 21 over 2. Okay, I think this is good enough. Yeah, but they put a negative up here. So this become negative, this become positive, this become positive. And so you end up with this so called nicer formula without negative being down here. Alright, so I think this is rather unfair to the numerator again. Yeah? Rather unfair to the numerator being uh, compared to the denominator. They want the denominator to be beautifully nice number. But they don't care what happened to the numerator. Yeah? Yeah. But as given in the briefly in the reason earlier, imagine if we want to continue to do calculation in plus or minus, we can plus minus using this easier compared to this one. I think that is the reason. I think that reason is reasonable. Huh? 
not because your teacher can mark your work easier or not. Huh? To me, uh, mathematically, this is better than this. Yeah? So this whole process is rationalizing the denominator. All right, I think this is, uh, today is a rather heavy topic yeah, compared to the earlier one. That's why I'm recording this so that I can send the link to you and then you can replay and then see which section you need to look at it again. Uh, all right, and uh, hopefully, I think it's almost time. Yes. Yeah, two more minutes to go. So I think you you can, I think it's really important that you try the self-practice for seven. Feel free to ask me, please. Ask me the question anytime. Yeah, 7.24, I'm okay. You just let me know. I can do the, do the steps for you and uh, I can explain. Also, I can explain. Oh, oh, I cannot answer this call. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. I will. I can explain to you. Yeah, feel free, please. Yeah, I'm offering this help, and hopefully you are picking it up, lah. Yeah, I don't mind. Okay, and then in a solving problem involving search, I think maybe we still need another session to do this, lah. Never mind. I let you have a break first. And then we can look at example 17, 18, yeah? And those questions involving diagrams and so on, yeah? Basically the same, yeah? Just that now, instead of uh, saying now, if you get a triangle to, to find the area of this, instead of uh, this is uh, 4.2, uh, 5.7, right? You multiply and you divide by 2. Now they may give you something like 3 minus uh, 2, right? Uh, here, uh, uh, four plus seven, for instance, right? Meaning you they give you the height and the best with this radical with the third term, and then when you multiply, you are actually solving problem involving thirds. That's all. You still have to do all this work, uh, plus minus, and all the concept that you have learned, and that's basically solving problem involving thirds. It's not not it is not something new. It's just that. Instead of having nice number, you have number in in search. Okay. All right. So I think that's all for today. You can ask questions. If you want to stay back for a while, I will be around. If not, I will keep you informed as of when is our next meeting. Uh, uh, with that, I think, yeah, uh, have a good break. Uh, still berpuasa, yes, selamat berpuasa, and I wish to uh, say uh, advance lah, selamat hari raya, and maybe advance uh, selamat hari gawai as well. Huh? Okay, thank you very much, and thank you for attending the session. Hey, Horn, who else? Yeah, I think I missed some of the attendants up here. Uh, who My else? name is... Who? Irfan. Irfan. Oh. Yeah. Who else? Uh, Thank you, sir. Selamat hari raya. Yeah. Uh, who else did I miss? Uh, Noah? Adam, sir. Oh, Adam. Okay. Any more? I don't know, sir. Adam. Okay. Yeah, let me know uh, if I miss your name because I will mark that down in your attendance. If you're okay, you're most welcome to leave. Thank you very much and uh, see you around. Take care. Sir, sir. Okay. No question. Okay, never mind. Let uh, me stop the recording first and then I'll answer your question, yeah? Uh, yes, sir. All right.